Now, obviously, you've had a phenomenal career now being on, you know, NBC and HBO Max and, and hit cinema movies. But when did you actually catch your first big break, right? Because you might have small roles that come in and, and things that come. But when did you catch your break where you're like, oh, my gosh, I'm really doing this? Oh, my goodness. Well, Mir, I guess it's nice to know I have made it. I wasn't aware. I just <laughs> I just keep plugging along. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm always looking for the next job, which is what we do. And you never stop doing that. That's, you know, I'm currently in between seasons of The Blacklist. We're going to do another season next year, which is really wonderful. But I consider myself at the moment currently unemployed. So <laughs> it's, it never, ever stops is what I'm trying to say. In, 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 in 20 years, you know, knock wood, I'll still be doing this. And in 20 years, I'll still be, you know, having to push out there and, and, and try to find the next job. Uh, I just talked about that for so long that I forgot your question. <laughs> Well, no, no, I think, you know, that, that you really tied right into the question, honestly, which is, you know, how, how you caught your big break. But interestingly enough, you brought up an important point that's even a, a divergence, which is the comfort level. It seems like you never get comfortable. Like, it seems like you could get a new movie tomorrow and you never get comfortable. Well, actually, I do have a new movie and I am shooting it in the fall and I'm still not comfortable. Absolutely. And there are different levels of comfort. Let's say that uh, I'm certainly not restless, irritable or discontent. But I am having to always put myself out there and be visible and have, maintain a profile on social media or, you know, keep that propaganda going at, at full steam all the time so that people know where you are and when you are. You know, I will say that you talked about catching a break. And for me, of course, I think the big break was The Wire and being part of such a, you know, an amazing, iconic, important piece of work that, you know, we certainly didn't know what it was at, at the time initially the years have proven that the the that body of work is really not only held up but has um, sort of you know improved with age so i'm i'm really proud to have been part of that and not to toot my own horn in in any way but not a lot of actors get to have been a part of something so special i say that with complete humility because it's such a crapshoot you know i just happen to be there it's a show that's now taught in classes all over the world and harvard and yale teach sociology classes that are that use the wire as a as a launching pad so i think that's a wonderful thing to have been part of and to have out there in the world and i'm very proud of it <laughs> 